Hello everyone, this is Hugh. And today I'm going to show you how to see if your keyword is a good keyword or not in five minutes or less. So here we go. So now let's say you start with a keyword that you think you want to rank for. Um, <clears throat> let's say you chose something like, um, let's say you created a post on um, how to make money on Twitter. So you think that maybe something like Twitter monetization case study would be a good keyword. So how do you know if it's good or not? Well, let's find out. <clears throat> the fastest way I've found to uh, research keywords is using this software called Market Samurai. And um, there are other free ways to do it, but it takes much, much longer. And um, it's, it's not worth spending the time, in my opinion. So um, here we go. Let's check out this keyword. So we're going to go to New Project. And then we're going to go to keyword. We're going to put in Twitter case study. Okay, and then we're going to hit enter. And this is a dashboard. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to keyword research. Okay, so now this is going to automatically import that keyword. And you want to create some options. You want to see other um, similar keywords. So you want to generate keywords. Click on that. Okay, so now it's going to give you a list of uh, different related keywords. Um, and as you can see, the one that you put in is highlighted. So the next thing we're going to do is go to keyword analysis. And as you can see, that's really fast. And if you use another free tool, um, <clears throat> it would be much, much slower. You'd have to research every one of those keywords by hand. So um, the important column here is SEOT. SEO traffic, that means um, that's the approximate number of visitors that you will get if you rank number one for that keyword. So let's sort that field so that you got the highest in the top, lowest in the bottom. <clears throat> and as you can see, these other uh, these other keywords would bring in a few, quite a few visitors actually every day. Um, but the keyword that we're thinking of, Twitter monetization case study, it's not getting any traffic at all. So that would not be a good keyword. And you could stop right there. <clears throat> so let's look at some other. Uh, let's look at social media case study. Let's take that for an example. So you see that one. You think that might be a good one. So the way we research that is we're gonna we're gonna click on this little key here, and it's gonna pop up a new tab at the top. Let's let's click on that tab. And now we're gonna go to SEO competition. That's gonna show you the top ten sites that rank for that keyword in Google. So it's going to do its thing. Okay, so for this keyword, social media case study, um, this is what came up. And all, there's a lot of information here. So, um, not all of it's very relevant, but it's great to have that information. But uh, I want to call your attention to this column right here, PR, and that's for page rank. And you're looking basically for pages that are, I mean, you're looking for a lot of pages in the top 10 that are lower page rank, maybe 0 to 2 to 3 at the most. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of pages with very high page rank. So this is probably going to be a keyword that you, you know, it would you could rank for it, but it would be more difficult. So we might want to look for a different one. So that's the basic process of how you um, research a keyword that you think is good. Um, now, another great feature of Market Samurai is that you can actually figure out where you rank, where your page ranks for a particular keyword. And you can store that in the program, and you can come back to it every so often, and you can figure out, and you can see if you're making any progress. So let's take a minute to go over there and check that out. So Let's hop back to Twitter monetization case study, and we're going to go to the rank tracker. So in this case, we know the keyword is no good, but just as an exercise, um, let's add the keyword anyway. And then add keyword. 
And then now that you have the keyword in there, um, we're going to add a URL. So we're going to see where exactly in Google does this URL rank. So I'm going to take one of my sites and I'm going to put stick that in there. And then we're going to use this keyword and click on add URLs. And then now that this um, URL is associated with this keyword, let's see where it ranks for that. We're going to click on update ram rank data. And now you can see um, the data for that page. So in Google, this is rank number one. And um, it has a page rank of one, and there's no backlinks to this page. So um, that's a really good way to measure your progress if you're trying to rank for a certain keyword. In this case, it doesn't really matter because the keyword is kind of worthless because there's no traffic going to it. Um, people aren't looking for that key keyword or key phrase. Um, but if you're going to do a full-on campaign where you're actually targeting a keyword that gets good traffic, um, this is a great screen to be at. So those are just a few of the basic features of Market Samurai. Um, if you want to check out the, uh, the rest of the videos that they have, um, you can go to my website, zom.com forward slash ms for Market, market Samurai, and it'll take you to the information page. Um, incidentally, that's an affiliate link. If you do buy through that link, I do get a commission. But hopefully, um, what I've shown you here you know, is... Uh, something that interests you and will save you a lot of time. I know it saved me a lot of time. Um, you know, just trying to figure out which keywords are good and which ones aren't. Um, that first step that I showed you in the beginning, trying to figure out if a keyword is actually getting traffic, that, that took a while with the free products. So, you know, check it out if you're interested. If not, that's cool too. But um, I hope you learned something here. And thanks for watching.